guys and welcome back to the amazing creative build series oh yes yeah. so we're working on vehicles in minecraft that is the main topic so we're going to move on to something new today but let's tour some stuff i've currently built away from camera just to show you so we've done the f1 car and the camper van let's make sure our music is down because that has been doing my head in quite a lot Oh yes, we're in the new version of Minecraft 2, 1.7.2, which is pretty epic. Okay, so I built this away from camera. I did actually record it, but the quality of the video was so bad, I decided not to put it on the channel. But this is a freezer delivery van. Um, it delivers frozen goods. Let me show you the inside. There we go. So there's all the frozen goods in there. And then I decided, because I live in Wales and people stereotype the Welshman to have some sort of some sort of natural love towards sheep. <laughs> I decided to make this this sort of livestock transport sort of vehicle here. So there's plenty of sheep in it. If you've actually seen one of these in real life, there is actually two floors in here. So you have sheep on the bottom and sheep on the top floor too, which is pretty awesome. The cab design is very similar to this one here, but it's a little bit longer because it needs to pull a larger haul. Okay, so today we're gonna move on to something more kind of similar. We're gonna do a European truck. These designs are very stereotypically American and you don't see them very often, especially in the UK anyway. So we're gonna move on and build something more European based. And Norton is telling me that Fraps is using a high CPU percentage. It's saying Fraps is using let me get rid of this. Fraps is using one of your calls at very high t speeds. Well, I've got 16 calls in this computer, Norton. One call dedicated to Fraps is not really... Um, nothing really I want to cry over. Okay, so let's get some clay. We're going to go with some neutral colours on this. And we'll do it on this side of the F1 truck. Oh, yeah. Something else. I've actually made this, this small little vehicle here. Uh, we may actually explore some of this in time to come. Okay, so. Let's start by here. Whoops. Okay, we want it to be an odd number two because we want a center point and obviously we want two positions like this for windows to go in. I mean lights. Windows? What the hell am I talking about? I think... Hmm, I kind of want to pro... Yeah, we'll do it this height instead. So it's like a ha one half slab above ground level. I'm actually recording with Fraps today, and I've got a stable 60 FPS. Bandicam has been doing my head in recently. One, two, three, four, five. Bravo. One in like so. And then European trucks tend to have... They don't tend to have this large bonnet at the front. The engine is... They've probably got smaller engines. That's probably why they're... They're like what I'm about to create. Yeah, that'll do. And then we want to go up more. And then we want to come back once we want. Let's get some more of this here. Maybe to get some glass. Maybe some glass panes. Who knows? That is still too far back. Let's do this. We may actually have to change the proportion of this at some point. Yeah, it may actually need to be seven wide. There we go. And then we usually they have these large windscreens that the driver sits behind rather than having something that's a little bit smaller like that. Okay, so we want to wrap this here. We'll be giving the shape a lot more... Uh, a lot more smoothness in time. But I am building this on the fly like I usually do. I don't pre-plan too much when it comes to creative videos because I just like to let the creative juices flow. And usually you come out with some remarkable designs. Okay, this hollow this. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so there needs to be some of these. 
You don't actually have to use quartz though, guys. If you want to use like steps and so like wooden steps, go for it. Could actually experiment with the new uh, the new dark oak too, which is in the new Minecraft. Um, the new Minecraft release actually is not a snapshot anymore. I usually, I usually blow myself out watching too many videos on snapshots and uh, it kind of ruins the game for me in somewhat because I got my own let's play as you know so uh, when I do my let's play I kind of it's hard to find some sort of I wouldn't I wouldn't say hard to find some generic interest because I'm a fan of Minecraft regardless but that's not gonna connect but there is it but the only problem I have is that I, I see I, I love watching my favorite YouTubers and I just can't help but get spoiled. The content is spoiled for me, especially when new stuff is released. That's just how it is. I can't can't help it. I just support my favorite YouTubers, but along the way, I just the new updates are spoiled for me. <laughs> that's just how it is. Okay, so that's pretty much the shape of a European truck here. I'm gonna get rid of this rim. Uh, we might keep the front one here. Because they usually go straight up like this, and then they have a, a bit of a back on them. I wonder what Optimus Prime would look like if he was a, a, a European style truck. <laughs> he would look so much different. Because American style trucks are quite... They look quite beefy, don't they? They've got big engines and so forth like that. Optimus Prime as a European truck. That would be kind of weird. Okay, so we want to put wheels in here. Um, I'm thinking maybe bigger wheels like this, possibly. We gotta give European trucks some sort of girth, <laughs> some sort of girth. Okay, so that's a grill. It would be nice to sort of rotate that ladder. Oh well. So let's start implementing these natural colors we have. Um, quartz is always nice as a placeholder and obviously sometimes it works out really well and you don't actually have to remove the quartz but personally I like to use quartz as a placeholder because the entire thing is so white that you just have to put detail on it you just have to start whoop, you just have, have to start stripping the design down a bit time set zero that is not bad okay let's get some item frames Ooh, those are too, way too close together. They're going to be a bit derpy. That's too far apart now. That is weird. I can't put them in a position which feels natural natural for the fact that it's a truck. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> let's go and grab some of these stuff. And let's put it by here. And then, ding ding, build this bit out here. I want to put an anvil in into this design. Do I actually have an anvil around here? No, let's just grab one and get this one here. I am actually considering using a uh, texture pack for this series too, but I don't. I don't want to make it feel almost like something's impossible to make because the texture pack is obviously influencing the design somewhat. Let's do that, connect that. Mm. One here, and here. Not bad. Let's do that. Fill this. Okay, I think that's a nice shape here. We want to influence the wheel arches a little bit. So let's do that. Take away this, of course, because that's too low to the ground in here. I think I'm going to start doing a series on my created server quite soon guys, if you want to um, see how I'm getting on, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. And then we want to fill this in here, that's nice because we can put a bed here, this is perfect. Uh, we might want to raise the floor just a bit. Um, place. What a view! That is a really nice trucker's view. Let's re rearrange my butt on this seat. I've got this really bad tendency of sitting on my leg, like crossing my leg over. It's, 
It's not a cool thing to do. That do I... I'm not sure on that, actually. Okay, so... I think I'm gonna strip this off too. I think that really does look like, like a really nice European style truck there. Definitely, I wanna get some... This music too, damn. I'm so sorry guys. I get used to having the music off. I mean, I get used to like turning down the music and somehow it kind of works its way back up again. Okay, is that working on the on the back here? On the On the wide load. Just go for a wide load this time like so. Okay, basically what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make a big rectangle made out of quartz. So you don't need to see this bit, so I'll be back in just a moment once I finish making that. And here we are with the magnificent quartz tri rectangle. What am I on about triangle? Okay, so what we need to do, where to, where to, we sheep shut it. I want to get one of these bad boys, hook. And then I want to get some fence. And uh, I want to do this around the side here. Um, some some trailers like this, especially the tall ones, have drapes of fabric. And what happens is they're hooked down the bottom. And then anything inside is basically strapped down with cables then. So I want to sort of emulate where um, the cables would be strapped. Okay, I want to get some stairs now. Something I've worked out from doing this is that where the license plate usually goes, you want to inset it a little bit like this. And then bring it back out by here. Should be kind of fine. Item frames. I think something really cool as like an addition to Minecraft would possibly... Let's just leave that one like that. Hook. Maybe they want to put two on here. Um, it's that I think a bigger inventory is something that's like really needed, especially in creative Minecraft like this, because there is just never enough. Okay, I want to do this. We could actually do a double sort of exhaust on here. Maybe that would, but just not the same height, just like that. I think that would be kind of cool. Very nice. This is a very simpler design, but I think it's working rather nice. So what we're going to do, we're going to go with the buttons on the wheels. Rather than using the item frames. I think I got a bit too item frame happy on that one. So we're going to just go with the buttons. We've got two there, and we've got three wheels here. And each, where the wheels start, they're two blocks in. The actual length of this, um, this trailer doesn't really matter, guys. As long as it just feels right I guess as long as it feels right just go with it <laughs> and then we want to go back with a natural looking clay again I do like uh, natural colors in Minecraft I think they're pretty awesome and then we're gonna fill this in like so and then we're gonna come up with some ingenious pattern that will define define the products of this vehicle Okay, so what type of products will be in here? Maybe already cooked meats. Maybe Yorkshire puddings from Yorkshire. Or Yorkshire tea. Yorkshire tea. I do like my tea. Every time I talk to an American and I, they're like, Oh, do you like tea and stuff? I'm like, yeah, I, I you know, I like tea. And they're like, oh, I like tea too. I like the lemon tea and I like the raspberry tea and I like the chocolate tea and the... Bacon and chocolate tea and all our weird American food combinations that you wouldn't even consider eating yourself because they just sound so horrific. I'm like, no tea. Tea. Like, tea that is from China. Not the the weird lemon. No, I wouldn't call lemon tea weird at all or anything like that because they are quite appealing. But, so I, I don't think... I'm not saying like Americans are slow or anything, because definitely not, but a good majority of Americans don't know any different from outside their own country, I believe. And that's definitely not an American stereotype, but it is quite common f to speak to an American and they, they just don't know anything outside their own country, so... It's, it surprises me on how many Americans think tea 
that the British like sort of drink, or especially the English, because I'm not English, is like lemon tea and stuff. It's not. It's, it's like tea that's grown. No, it's like it's, it reminds me of like when that uh, Jamie Oliver did like the food revolution thing in the states, and they were all revolking, revoking, and they were like, "We don't want to eat salads." And Jamie Oliver's like, "Healthy eating is not salads. Why you stereotype salads as the healthy option over anything?" I mean, like, you know, just knowing how to cook properly is the it's the solution to healthy eating, and I'm I'm not saying I eat all healthy at all. If anything, completely the opposite. I like I like my greasy kebabs from Turkey and everything. But the, but my point is, is that okay? This is gonna look like some weird text now. It's not gonna be anything specific. It's gonna look like Oriental characters probably. No, this could be the tea vehicle. Exactly, this could be the tea, because we're talking about tea. I just hope there's enough space to spell T on here. Okay, we're going to have to go with my interpretation of the word T because of the amount of space we have. Maybe we can look, make the words look oriental but still spell the word T. And then we need A by here. And it's like Jamie Oliver was doing a poll in a school saying, like, to try and work out Oh, this almost looks like a penis. That's nice. This copy on the other side. Yeah, he's got a poll, and like some kids think that like chicken is grown and stuff like that, and it's, oh, it's such a depressing thing for like that. What type of education do, I, do they go through? And I'm not, I'm not pulling America up or anything. I'm just saying like. That's what happened on the food revolution. It probably happens in any in many other countries too. Even my own. When I was younger, I actually um, requested to change schools because I didn't feel that I was getting um, a good enough education. So, um, so there you go. It, it happens all over the place. And I was young enough to acknowledge that I wasn't actually learning anything. I think that was kind of cool. On my behalf, and I said, ma'am, I'm not actually learning anything in my school right now. Can I go to a different school? And I actually moved schools. I think I was about 11 years old, and I thought that the only thing I learned in school is nothing, really. And my teachers really didn't take time out to, like, sit down with me, because I'm kind of a slow learner. It's, like, if you, if you knew me personally, you would know that I'm not. I'm not the sharpest tool in the box, but... Um, it depends what we're talking about here. I mean, it depends. Like, everyone's got their own speciality, of course. I mean, like, when it comes to web design, I think I'm kind of top-notch. I mean, it's, someone's debugging their website, and they're like, I've got like, this problem, and I can't work it out, and I'll just look at the website, and instantly I'll just know. I'll just look through the code, and I'm like, you've got a, a spelling error in there, which is affecting the entire website or something. I have actually seen websites that are just broken based on typos and stuff. I just don't tell the people that I fixed a typo. You obviously milk it a bit. That's business for you. You obviously have your time paid for, regardless of what the fix is, I guess. And there was another time I was talking to a guy on a server the other day, and he's like studying. I think we're going to curve this. Yeah, he's studying for business studies, and I was like, I just broke this block by here, didn't I? And I was like, and he was like, going on about stuff and delivering great customer services and stuff like that. And he was talking about business to business practices. And my experience of dealing with other businesses is that they just want to rip you off. That's all it is. It's, it's just that. And that's what business is. It's, in some cases, it's not all about delivering good customer services. It's all about doing a good price. And especially if you be dealing with other businesses, all they want to do is just rip you off. That's all they want to do. <clears throat> Currently, at the moment, um, I'm trying to get a payment off a, of a client. And um, he's been stringing me along for a long time now. And you meet a lot of people like this, and they go, yeah, I'll pay you at this point, I'll pay you. Um, just, you know, just get this done now, and I'll, I'll sort you out with some money and stuff like that. And 
when he kind he's kind of a friend because I kind of know him and he's kind of taken advantage of it. So <clears throat> I've turned I turned off the hosting and stuff for his sign. I've said, look, dude, I know you're my friend and all, but it's been a long time now, and I've had many promises off you for this money, and it never happens. You got a lot of people who talk a lot of shit in business too, as well, which is the downfall. This just drop the small talk. Anyway, I think this tea vehicle, tea delivery vehicle. European truck design is kind of finished. There's obviously so much more we can do to this. I think we're going to put some trapdoors in the roof. Because we want our tea to be fresh. So we want a good cooling ventilation thing going on. And I think that's going to be it for trucks at the moment on this series. Uh, we're going to move on to some other stuff in the next episode. I think we might move on to a plane. But uh, I've noticed Corralis has started doing his own um, creative build for vehicles too. I think he uploaded like the day after me actually. So I'm trying to differentiate the series. I know he's done tractors at the moment. So I think we're going to do something really, really different and do like a hovercraft in the next episode guys. And uh, see how that comes out. But as you can see we've got the camper van, the F1 truck. We've got the refrigeration a uh, fridge freeze frozen um, delivery truck. Then we've got the livestock, and then we've got the tea, <laughs> which is in old European style truck design. Obviously, there's more detail like a pro on here, but this is a nice, uh, it's a nice uh, place folder for you guys to look at and follow. So I think we're gonna do a nice big hover. Hover uh, craft. I think that's going to be pretty epic. And I don't even know what this is by here, really. It's kind of like... It's like one of those old-fashioned hot rods, hot rods, I guess. Maybe. And I'm going to try and stop using quartz too often, because... Um, as you can see, it's very wide in quartz. See, let's just change the texture pack. This is what Corralis actually uses. Flow HD. So, let's check this out in... In... Um, epicness I guess. I mean if you put this texture pack on most things look absolutely fantastic as you can see and then when you go into default everything just looks poo. That's, that's, that's it really. I do like this van we made. It's pretty sweet with all the stuff inside it. And the F1. And the CRT truck looks kind of nice too. The lime um, clay is a bit limey. It's a bit lime but oh well. But as you can see in Flow HD, everything just looks freaking awesome, like, you know? It just shows you that everyone can build in Minecraft, really. Sometimes we need a bit of inspiration to get us going, but really anyone can build if you just put the time aside. And just think about what you do as you do it. If we look inside here, we can actually see the driver in the cab. <clears throat> I think that's pretty epic. I think we should do the same thing here if we can. We don't need that. No! Sheep shut it! All oh, this painting scrolling is pissing me off. <laughs> there and there. There we go. We got the driver in there too. That's pretty awesome. What would happen if you put like the painting up against like something here? That would be pretty awesome. Also, for the steering wheel, I have used the detector rail <clears throat> and spun it around. I'm trying to do other. F I I would have used like a fence post in there, but I don't want to. I'm trying to like not do what other people are doing. <laughs> Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you tune in next time. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Don't take any offense to what I've said. I haven't been stereotyping. I've been talking about stuff that's actually, you know, been done and stuff like that. I don't actually have any... I don't actually stereotype anyone at all. I just, you know, just talking broadly about the whole food situation. But, you know, as recently reported from Jamie Oliver from America. So, this you know but it's probably in other countries too anyway guys thanks for watching make sure you tune in next time subscribe if you're new to the channel of course any suggestions please let me know in the comments below i do not want to make any farm vehicles next i'll leave that to corrales of course so let's, let's try a different route on here i think the hovercraft is going to be next but any other suggestions will be considered therefore make sure you enter the competition on the channel for a copy of probably archery the video is still up there 
I'm giving away five copies of that game, which will be the demo. And when the game is officially released, um, the full game will be available to you to via the same place I give you the download from. So, uh, like always, guys, thanks for watching and peace out.